that's a sick shot. Mm. It's okay. Love that one. So, to show you how like constantly active the world is, here I am just talking with a vendor, right? Oh, it's, it's all my me. I'm just buying and selling some stuff, right? Actually, in my crafting, I might, I don't know. But I'm in my menus. Okay, I'm not actually talking to the vendor, but I'm standing next to him. And apparently the night cavalry just spawns. And then one shots your boy. And then he goes to teabag the vendor like it's nothing. Main castle. This is me first time ever coming to this uh, dragon cathedral. And so I wasn't sure if this dragon was alive or not. So I'm like, don't wake it, like freaking Bilbo. It was a fully dead dragon. Okay, let's go to an actual video. Oh, this is when I, I have this on the YouTube video, but we'll have to that can be I am one shot with no help. This is before I had defeated Godric. I don't have a rune at the top left. Literally, I have no magic, no one, one shot, no uh, pot. Kind. Talking to Nefeli Lu inside Stormvale. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? I like how she killed a banished knight. Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. And then you do, you can summon her. And again, he, regardless of how people feel about the other summons, the like ones you can call in battle all the time, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with this, these summons, uh, especially because it's cool from the narrative standpoint. Like she has a beef with Godric. Okay, I'm going to fight Godric. Why don't, why wouldn't I summon her? All right, let's get an actual one. This is me getting bamboozled by one of these things before I fully knew how to um, best them. This is the first one I'd ever encountered, so I really wasn't sure what I was doing. Thought I was at first. I thought I had to like beat it in a race and catch up to it and grab it. But I'm like, you win. You win. Oh, he's not. That's not good. Oh, this is one of my favorite clips, and it's emblematic of how incredible this game is, and it's like, whoa is so as you're running through Kaled, you see it on the immediate to my right you see that like white and pink almost like calcium deposit or you know like a, a core almost looks like a coral reef or something on the right and it's white and pink so you see a bunch of those along this road right a bunch of them and you get used to those just being those and what's cool is as i'm riding here i see the one on my left i see the one on my right I see the one on my right. I see the ones in the background. And I just assume that the, there's a giant one on the right there until it moves. And then I'm like, whoa, I just love that. I had no idea that's a dragon. This is literally my first time passing through here. And I'm like, I think, again, I think it's one. Of, and I think that they want you to think it's another one of those like coral reef, Kalid reefs, if I may. And then he like moves. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Love that, dude. That boss was hard as hell. 
This is me going back to a, try to fight it. Doing good damage. But so, so does he. I did not mean to get out of my horse, uh, get off my horse there. I didn't even get full Scarlet Rod. Just the damage of it needs to go. It did not be get out of my horse. What did that matter? It would have killed my horse. Look how gross it is. I just love how they have it balled up, and I know that they want the gamer. It, it's it's the example of brilliant world design, right? Where you have all of those other ones, and you want that to be established regardless of which way the gamer paths in that direction, whether it's from Celia or it's from the like smoldering wall or whatever, right? It's They know that the gamer is likely to see a lot of those little halid creeps. And then probably would seem that the dragon is another one. One of the many featured avatars. I love that I defeated it with the fire pot. I want to get back to that. so because i'm mainly a magic person or at least historically in this game some of the hardest enemies have often been the knights the banished knights the crucible knights because they have the shield and obviously it blocks a lot of my forward attacks it's why when i eventually got the ambush shard i don't use it as much now because i i use more melee but I love the ambush shard because I can actually get behind one of these freaking shielded lads. This dude, I thought, of all of the like world spawn non notable enemies, I died to him so many times. Probably more than almost any other world spawn that's not a boss elsewhere, right? Like, you know, there's the tree sentinel boss. And then later you see two tree sentinels out in the wild that aren't necessarily bosses, but they're just there. Or the godskin nobles, not counting them. That dude probably took me the most. He was hard. I was stoked to finally beat him with the ambush shard. Ooh, this is me beating. This is a good boss fight. This is at the, uh, this is in the bosses of Celia, the city in Caled, the sorcerer city in Caled. After you do the braziers and light the torches, this door gets open. Absolutely donkey kicked him in the feet. I don't think I've used that once. I don't, I haven't really used any of the other staffs once I got the meteor one. Although I do want to kind of try to like get different wrinkles to all of that. All right, let's do one more boss fight. Obviously some of these are, I'm doing them out of order just cause like, I don't want to do some of the conversations right now. Like the one with Melania, I think is her name here. Since he's been kind of the theme of this session. So 
one thing I haven't been doing as much is just be safe since I go back into this game. You see right there how I had a fully staggered and you have the little glowing uh, critical spot place. Um, oftentimes there's like a time, it's a time window thing. So like right there you saw that I was able to get four-ish normal attacks in and then still have time to get uh, the, the like critical execution animation in. And that's really key is knowing how much time you have. Like oh, I can cheat in a couple extra hits and you still get that. Conversely, actually, a lot of times I've gotten off and I tried to go straight for the critical thing. The game hasn't like given it to me. Like you know, I'll say like, "Oh, why couldn't I stick it in the quality control?" See right there, if you do three or four attacks with that, movement, that time, like third or fourth attack, like does a crap ton. So you're essentially getting huge, huge chunks. The music's so epic. Low. Oh. Let's go. Dude, for a second there, I, I didn't remember if this was the video of me actually beating him or not, I'm not gonna lie. So when he flew up, for a second I was like, am I about to die to this? I'm gonna miss time my dodge and, and die. He's gonna one-shot me, isn't he? A new draconic power is available. Such a dope fight. Such a dope fight. Big old jar, some Golemo Ultras. All right, let's do one more. I... When when was that fight? March two thousand and twenty-two, two o'clock a.m. Degenerate hours, Creed. March 15th, even. 2022. Alright, this will be the last one. Oh, this one's... Dude. Oh, I appreciate it, Cell. means a lot. How's your day been? Dude, they put Baby in the corner here. I know Dirty Dancing tells us you shouldn't do that, but look, they got me. Oh, I'm knee deep in a snatch. There. Oh, they had their way with me. And I am knee deep in it. Keep that clip, that's fine. That actually should be favorite. This fight, of, of the main boss kind of fights, this one probably took me one of the, of one of the most. I wish I kept track of that. One of the hardest things to do is you actually have to fight two dudes at once, this guy and the misbegotten. It's so crucial to kill the lion or the the misbegotten thing first. Dude, the music's so epic. See what I mean about the ambush shard clutchness? I don't think I have it equipped here. Ooh, huge dodges. Dodge. I'm actually shocked that I didn't get caught up in like the wood of the tent or something like that or get denied by a barrel. The irony of trying to do a barrel roll and then get blocked by a barrel. This whole fight so far I've barely done damage. Chipping away. I don't think I have any room there. That's why I'm not really stressing them. Again, I died a lot on this boss fight. Oh, 
I was trying to use the boulder so like make him put his shield away or whatever, and then I can hit him with the quick glint stone. Dude, oh my god! I can't see shit. Bro, if I would have died there, I would have been mad again two years later. Speaking of the tent, look how low he is. Oh, oh the relief. Huge. Huge. So huge. I showed me beating him finally on stream. This is proof. I think during that stream, I mentioned how I had left this guy alive intentionally because I kind of like the ambiance and the feel of him roaming around and his music. You can see this is March 2022. I'm standing here and I'll leave him alive. And then finally, recently on stream, I did. <laughs> well played. Dude, the score is so good. Yeah, eventually I'll leave that cat alive. All right, let's do... So these are all from 2022. We did a little catching up. I'm going to show a video from more recently while I go and just check on my doggos. So another place that I had gone to some two years ago was up here. So it's in Nochran. Those familiar with Elden Ring knows it's like the underground area and there's an aqueduct. So I had already defeated the like elk. There's a giant regal elk you defeat and then you can go behind. Um, basically, if you look forward ahead, that's his arena. Anyways, you go behind the arena, you can drop down. But two years ago, I got murked by this guy. And it was one of those where it's like, I'll come back. You know, you die once, maybe you try him twice. He beats you easily both times. You're like, I'm gonna come back. And then I forgot about this place entirely. But I was going back roaming this little Nokran area and I randomly saw it. I saw I had like a little gym on my map and I was like, so, all right, I'll be back. I'll, I'll give them mad love for it, for you and from you.
yo, yo. Okay, so this dude marks me. I don't think that death is counted. We'll throw it on to the old death counter. Okay, he marks me, sad. I respawn, I come back. The first one that I had already killed does not respawn, which shows kind of the caliber of enemies they are. I go back. <clears throat> but this time, instead of going straight to the right and fighting that guy, I think I've Go to the left first. I have one more thing I need to do. So I'm going to show one more video and then I'm switching to Wukong. Speaking of waterfalls, you notice how there's secrets behind it. You can see already, you can see there's stuff. These guys over here just fiending for crank in the corner. <laughs> All right, that's that one. So instead of going to fight that Crucible Knight immediately, and then this, it literally is picking up right after the last one ended. It was originally a 15 minute long video. I split it up into two sections. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, hold on, I wanted to do one. I need to turn this up a smidge. Sound, video, boom. You, I mean, one of the age-old traditions of a video game if you, is if you put a waterfall in the game, you need to put a little secret behind it. Oh, of course, there's another NPC to talk I, I, to. I'm not ready for that. Whoa, look at that. We got to kill this Crucible Knight, though. Why can't I get an execution? I don't get it. I also can't get my Mrs. Slumber off against this fool because he keeps poking me and interrupting it. Go. 
Alright, let's go talk to that NPC now. And then we'll go here and then to the right. And then there's that way to go as well. Damn. Hand over the twinned armor set. Ooh. That's the set that you get from D. One of the guys in the round table hole. But the I don't use the items, but they are pretty sick. I like to hold on to them. The two known as D are inseparable twins. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together. Not one word do they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs to find its way to the other D. I'll give him my D. What was that? It is sick. I'll give it to him. Full armor set for an emote. In you force. Right, let's go this way and then we go up the stairs question mark wait where did he come back alive that's creepy looking It's kind of interesting the beholder of death. First came in. Can't go that way. Killed the crucible knight there. Alright, before going up the stairs, let's just make sure I'm not missing anything. This looks awesome. Look at this shot. I still agree with that. Oh, we have a boss fight here. We got a little gold summoning sign. Oh, I can summon D to help me. Sick. All right, we'll save this for the next little sesh. Which, what can... All right, nice little Elden Ring recap. Showed some stuff that I had never uh, streamed before from 2022, and then some stuff from 2024, so hell yeah.